I ate them. That's right. I ate the divorce papers. Why can I ever be happy? I want to be happy. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> I ate them with ketchup. And they were good. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hi there, Charles. I didn't see you there. <laughs> you want to really know what I done with the divorce papers? Oh. <laughs> I ate them. That's right. I ate them. With ketchup. <laughs> and they were good. <laughs> they were good. Mm. See, you always took our marriage as a joke. And the fact is, let's be logic here. If A, you never took our marriage serious, then B, we can't take our divorce serious. No, we can't. This is a force. This whole thing is a force. A force? <laughs> it tastes so good with ketchup. Oh. <laughs> Just last week, your dad asked you, why did you walk down the aisle with me? And what did you say? For the exercise? <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Charles. I'm laughing. I'm not crying. Because you're about to give up on a woman who is very lovable. Very. You know what? I applaud you. But let me tell you something. For instance, Paul, he has loved me since the eighth grade. Sure. He's a little creepy. He really loves me. He made me 127 passes at me, proposed 47 times, and sent me over 200 original love sonnets. He sees something in me, Charles. And he writes it down in metered verse. And that's not something you just see every day. Someone who really loves everything about you, who you are as a person. Paul may be a little insane, but I value his feelings for me. I will never ask you to sign a piece of paper. Promising to just turn off his feelings for me forever. But that's what you're doing. That's what you want me to do for you. To sign away my rights to that, <laughs> that sweet voice. That baby brown eyes. The way your hands feel just. Rubbing down my hair before bed. Those aren't things I want to lose. In fact, mm -mm, I won't lose them. I won't lose you. I love you. I written you a love sonnet. Shall I compare the to a summer's day. Though out <clears throat> more lovely and more temperate, rough winds do shake the daring burrowed buds of my of May. <laughs> and mm -mm, 
No, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. It's all a big joke. It's very funny, Charles. I keep waiting for you to say, April Fools. <laughs> Then I rushed into your arms, but you're not going to, aren't you? No. Of course not. It's not April. You know, I I didn't really write that sonnet, you know. Paul did. And I think it's good. You see... The truth is, the truth is, Charles, <laughs> I ate the divorce papers because I cannot stomach the thought of losing you. I don't want to lose you, man. <laughs> I think it's time for you to go. Listen up. Any of you ladies out there feeling neglected? This Dynasty Red. Sing to him. I'm so tired yeah. of being so neglected. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Uh. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Uh.